Hi, my name is Florence Cohen. I'm the founder of Osteopathic Reflexology. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit today about uh, some very important concepts when it comes to fascia. There are many things that are very important when you talk about fascia, uh, but two of the main concepts that one needs to understand when uh, you are a body worker, when you, when you work with the body and you try to improve its uh, balance, its equilibrium, uh, is the concept of continuity in, in fascia. No beginning, no end. Um, a little bit like a spider web. Uh, you don't see the beginning, you don't see the end, it's everywhere. Uh, you need to understand that fascia is everywhere in the body. It penetrates all organs, it penetrates bones, it penetrates nerves, it penetrates muscles, and um, it, it gives the structure. It holds everything in place, it gives us shape, it gives us form. Uh, so it is vital and it is fractal. That's why there's no beginning, no end, because we can see it come out of the cell and uh, we can see that it's everywhere at all, in all dimensions, uh, probably even in dimensions we cannot see yet. Um, and uh, the, the continuity concept is very important, uh, no beginning, no end, because that means we need to stop seeing the body in parts. We need to see the body as a whole. And whenever we're trying to help a body that is out of balance, um, we need to consider that whole because uh, when something doesn't work well, uh, everything is involved in the body at all times. So one part doesn't work well, all parts don't work well. And um, even the parts that seem... Um, distal from where the problem is are actually affected. So very connected to the concept of continuity and the, the importance of being able to uh, at all times see the body as a whole and not just as a beautiful, you know, mystical concept, uh, but really understanding how the whole is related to the whole at all times when you are working with the body very connected to this concept is the concept of tensegrity. Um, tensegrity is the means uh, tensional integrity. Um, and, and the two concepts are very intertwined. This is um, a tensegrity model. And, and, and what this shows is the balance between all parts. So there's a tension there is a tension in this model between the softer parts that would be the soft tissue that has an elasticity, collagen, elastin, uh, and the harder parts, which are represented by sticks, which would be the bones in this case. So um, the softer tissue um, pulls in, it pulls, and the bones push out, and there's a balance between these two forces pulling in and pushing out uh, that makes the, the system keep its shape. So it needs this tension everywhere in the body to keep its shape. If we modify, for instance, the tension somewhere, then you can see that the model starts changing shape, but it's affecting the, the whole model. So if I do something like this, then you see the model is changing shape everywhere. So the same happens in the body. Everything is related to everything because there is a continuity in everything. And in this continuity, there needs to be an optimal tension of the forces um, pulling in and pushing out uh, so that it keeps its integrity. So integrity here for us, uh, as far as the body is concerned, means health, okay? Um, so the minute you have a disruption in the, um, in, in, in the integrity, in the forces uh, pushing, uh, pulling in and pushing out, the minute you have a disruption, an imbalance, uh, an adhesion, uh, you name it. It can, it can carry many names. Um, the minute you have that, the whole system is affected. And you need to understand um, exactly 
what happens, what is going on within the fascial web, how the fascial web communicates to restore this balance. What kind of systems does it have to restore this balance? Is it capable to adapt or uh, not? So it is a very adaptive system. Uh, and and it tries to distribute uh, the forces. Here, the balance is due to the distribution, the even distribution of, of forces. Now, if you uh, affect the distribution of forces, if you have an impact, for instance, then the forces, let's say there's an impact here, all the forces are, well, most of the forces are going to concentrate here. That means the whole system is going to try to adapt around the problem. So uh, that's not good. That means this area becomes very, very fragile and very, uh, with a high tendency to injure. Um, and we, we don't want that. So our objective when we work the body is to restore the forces as evenly as we can. Obviously, if there are very old surgeries, very old injuries, and, and um, fascia with time becomes like glue. And it's not a glue that is easy to undo. More time passes, uh, the harder the glue. So uh, it, it may be difficult to undo this, plus this whole pattern will have adapted so much to these forces to protect the area that it will be difficult to undo. But what this puts uh, uh, in evidence is that if you only treat locally, okay, uh, then the following is, is going to happen, is that the, the pattern has adapted. So it's been 10 years, 20 years since the injury. This whole pattern of fascia, just like if you did some sport or, and it, it, would, it would follow the postures, the efforts that, that you make, because it's what sustains everything. It penetrates everything. So if you use a lot of muscle, then the fascia is going to adapt to what that muscle needs. So here, the same, the fascia will adapt to what the injury needs. It, it protects, it adapts all the time. So if the whole pattern has adapted to the injury, then uh, what we have is that if you only treat the injury locally, then the pattern is still there. And this is why uh, many techniques that only treat uh, injuries locally and they don't take into account that the global fascial pattern has completely adapted to around the injury, it's not to the injury, around the injury, then uh, they're not very effective. They, they bring relief, but they, they cannot treat the, the, the totality, the continuity. So, uh, luckily, we live in a gravity environment, and that means all the information is going to go down. So those of us who treat from the extremities, we treat from the feet, from the hands, we are going to have a we, we're going to have the totality of the information uh, in 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 the lower parts. So we can access. Uh, the, the, the totality, the integrity, the continuity, the pattern that has organized around the injury, we can treat all of it. And that's why uh, techniques that come from the extremities and know how to access um, the, the, the totality. Uh, let's say we have... Um, how do I put this? Uh, we have entrances to the body, okay? We have many ways of accessing uh, the body and its uh, self-healing systems. Uh, one of those very important uh, autobioregulation systems is in the extremities, especially in the feet and in the lower legs. And there's a reason why. It's because we are in, an, in, a, in a gravity environment and, and it's where the forces concentrate. So we have a super access to uh, the totality, the tensegrity, and giving it back uh, a more even distribution of forces, which is what we want. So much, much more about this in class. Uh, I will see you soon in London. I'm really looking forward to it. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.